The University of Toledo women's basketball team is in Israel tonight. The WNIT champions spending the next 10 days taking in the sights and playing some hoops as well. 13 ABC, the only station with them every step of the way. Here's 13 ABC's Diane Larson. Finally, we've arrived in Tel Aviv, flight right on time, 5.30 Tel Aviv time, about 10.30 Toledo time, and a very special guest was awaiting the team right when they arrived. When the team passed through customs at Ben Gurion International Airport, Nama and her family were waiting right around the corner. Her parents and brothers and sisters even made this banner, which reads, Welcome to the Promised Land, Go Rockets. How are you? <laughs> Nama's been in Israel all summer and hasn't seen her teammates since the school year ended in the spring. She told them she was very excited for them to see her homeland. Women's coach Trisha Cullip patiently waited her turn to give her star player a hug hello. Hey, coach. What's up, big girl? What's your name? Okay. From the airport to the charter bus, for a quick trip to the hotel. The Rockets will stay here in Tel Aviv until Wednesday morning when they head to Nahalal for morning practice in preparation for their exhibition game near Nama's hometown of Hoshaya. But that's for another day. Tonight, it's rest and reflection as the sun sets on the beginning of their trip of a lifetime. Diane Larson reporting. So what else is in store for the UT women on this historic trip? Diane spoke with our Bill Horman about that earlier tonight via Skype. Give us a sense of the types of stories that you're going to cover for us while you're in Israel. Clearly, we're going to be following the Rockets, their journey, kind of. We're going to be the, uh, the travelogue for these girls who are seeing things they've never seen before. Some of them really, uh, besides traveling for the team, have never really had any kind of a trip outside the country for most of them. This is their first trip overseas. Certainly nothing like this to Israel. We are going to be seeing some of the holy sites here that the city has for some of the most amazing things. We're going to the to the Dead Sea. We're going to the Sea of Galilee region. We are going to Jerusalem. Uh, one of the highlights, certainly for a lot of folks on this trip, will be um, the Sabbath, sundown on Friday at the Western Wall. And folks may know that that is the wall, uh, a very holy place in this community, uh, in this in this country of more than 75% is Jewish, the rest mostly Arab, but still a very holy place for everybody. And it's where you'll often see people write little notes, little prayers that they stick in the wall uh, on this holiest of holy days of the week. Do you have something in the can that we're gonna see on Tuesday? Can you tell us about that? Well, for starters, we're gonna talk to uh, three local players. There are three homegrown Rockets on this team. One of them, um, a soft or a freshman coming in, uh, Stephanie Recker from Pandora Gilboa. This is nothing that she ever imagined when she signed on to be a, a University of Toledo Rocket. And that's what's so neat about this team. We have two graduating seniors, two, two women who have already graduated, not a part of the program, and a number of freshmen who are coming in who haven't even started playing yet and they get to be part of this group. All right, our Bill Horman and uh, Diane Larson from Israel tonight. Of course, our special coverage, every leg of that journey, which will include a visit with the uh, Nama Shafir's family, is coming your way. Diane will also be blogging about the trip. You can find a link on our website, 13abc.com.